All right, here with the gorgeous Kylie Rocket. Hi, Kylie. How, hi, how are you? I am great. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> so we are at the Brazzers Spring Social, which means that summer is just around the corner. Do you have any, like, big hot girl summer plans? I do. I'm going to Miami for the whole month in July. I have a few things going on over there, a few, like, shoes for, like, my own self and, like, bikini stuff. It's main thing just Miami, because, you know, Miami is just where it's at in the summer. So that's the main thing for sure. And then uh, anything, any other projects this year, stuff you've already done or stuff you have planned later in 2023 that you can tell us about? Um, I have a lot of projects going on. So I recently just got a house. So I'm renting it. Um, I'm decorating it right now so that I can rent it out to companies so that I can shoot for that. So stay tuned for that. What's your favorite thing about the adult industry? your job specifically um definitely like the freedom um and you can like your own person is your brand you know so the way that you dress the way that you just do your makeup the way that you do like it's your brand so it's like you have to pay attention to that and I just I don't know I like the way I love myself so it this industry really does make you love yourself I love that. Well, and we love you too. Oh, thank you. Hello, everybody. I am here with the gorgeous May Twisty Street of the Month, Nicole Kitt. Hey, hello. <laughs> so uh, I saw your shoot. It looked absolutely gorgeous. It was like this kind of Greek-inspired location. Tell me about that day. How was that shoot for you? Oh, my God. So that day was just, it was overwhelming, but in the best way. Because I just didn't expect it to be such a, like an extravagant event, but I knew that getting that title of, as Treat of the Month was a big deal. So I was honestly really overwhelmed and nervous, but I was just so well cared for and like pampered. It just made it like a breeze. So I loved it. It was life changing, on career changing, honestly. So how did you feel when they told you that they wanted to make you Twisty Treat of the Month? Oh my God! So when she told me like she wanted to make me the Treat of the Month, I was in denial. I feel like I went through like the five stages of grief, honestly. Like I was in denial. I started like tearing up and I was like, are you sure? Are you sure? And then after a while I was like, okay, this is real. So I was elated. I called my parents. I called my boyfriend. I called everybody. Everyone. So, yeah. I love that. I am so sad that I didn't get to shoot it, but it looked like you had an amazing shoot. It was an amazing time. And honestly, I was sad about that too, but I'm like, there will be another door. There'll be another opportunity. So it's going to happen. Yeah, absolutely. So what's your favorite thing about being in the adult industry? Ooh, so my favorite thing about being in the adult industry would probably be like things like this. I am not the biggest, most outgoing like person, but I, whenever I'm in environments like this where it's like a party and stuff like that and like everyone's like intermingling, I think that's amazing because it gives it a sense of community. So definitely like events like these. I am here with the gorgeous Twisties Treat of the Month, Nicole Doshi. How are you? I'm very good. Blasted tonight. I have to say that our shoot together was literally like one of my favorite Treat of the Month shoots. Really? Oh, thank you so much. I actually also have a little secret for you. I took that picture that of you next to that big cinema light, and I blew it up, and I hung it up in my podcast studio. Really? You need to invite me to your podcast room. I would love to. People have been asking for you. Really? I would love to. So tell me a little bit about um, your work for Brazzers. What has been some of the best scenes that you think you've done for them? If someone wants to see what Nicole Doshi has done for Brazzers, what should they look at? Oh, my God. The best scene? I mean, every single scene that I do for Brazzers, everything is good, especially the 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 twisty tree, tr twisty tree of the month. That one is amazing. Even though I didn't have a lot of like, uh, like prop to use, but we did amazing. The view was a good. The outfit was good. And everybody work for Brazzers. It's phenomenal. They're so friendly, so easy to work with. Yeah, they're definitely one of my favorite Especially companies. Especially you. <laughs> Especially, let's, you're I mean, yeah, best. let's bring it back. It's all about me. No, you're the best. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> well, Nicole, you look amazing. Go have an incredible, have so much fun, and um, I'll, I'll come bug you later. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry, we were just, I was just looking at Dana's butt. 
Oh, nice. Very lovely. <laughs> Hi. So, how have you been? Good. I'm back. Where did you go? Oh, I just stayed at home for like three years, but I'm shooting for Brazzers. So tell me a little bit about that. Like, what scenes have you been doing? I just did an anal scene with Max Fills for Tony Rebus in Vegas, and it was so fun because they really let me act like a crazy mom. <laughs> the role that I was born to play, an unhinged housewife slash mommy. So. Dude, do you remember that fucking scene that we did for Digital Playground that was like an 18-hour day with like the color blocking and yes. the green lips? It was like the film noir, and it was like... <laughs> I was smoking. I was like, okay, I'm smoking. And I don't know. I was, I was like, this is going to come out. It was weird because I had to wear like green lipstick. So And and then we had to like change it. Yes. We're, we're just like, we're just getting crowded cool. out by hot yeah, chicks. It's, it's fun to do different things. Like even if it takes a long time, it usually comes. I mean, I like working with you. I like working with you too. I actually will also never forget that. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. When, we, when I shot you with Lana Rhodes... Oh my God, we had to go and catch a kite. She got her kite stuck up a tree because, uh, you know, that's so her. I just remember like she was so quiet. And then once she started to get into the scene, she actually like kind of came alive. And I just remember you like grabbing her face and being like, oh, like you have a personality. Yeah, no, it was, it was shocking. But you know, Lana was, you know, she was very young back then. Now she's a full, she's a real mom. I'm, I'm like just a, a faux milf. I'm not, I'm a faker. Such a fucking fake. I'm a fraud, Mel. <laughs> but you play the unhinged mom so well. Thank you. I just tap into like my own insanity and just make it bigger for Brazzers. Well, I'm glad that you're back, and I'm sure glad Brazzers is glad you're back. And so nice to be here. Thank you. I am here with um, somebody. I don't know. You might know who she is. You may have heard of her name. She's. She's, you know, she's been around for a little bit. Um, I don't know. What's your name again? Is it Angela White? Angela I White. I myself. <laughs> kind of like sort of rings a bell. You've been in the industry for a while? A little bit. I think we may have shot a couple of times. Oh, have we? Yeah. Are you like, are you with Brazzers? I'm a Brazzers contract star. Ah, okay. uh, just kidding. This is like one of the most famous people in the adult industry. Um, everybody knows that my, you know, second title for my podcast is called Everybody Loves Angela White because she comes up all the time. I was literally listening to your podcast as I was getting ready. I was listening to the cuckoldrist, uh, learning about like how I need to get like a cuckold boyfriend. Oh yeah. yeah, I feel like everybody needs one of those. Yeah, just somebody to worship me and, and like love me going out and fucking other dudes. So, But isn't that all of us really? What, what, what we're all doing? <laughs> no, but like, don't we all love you, worship you, and love you fucking other dudes? Aww, thank Aww, thank you. Thank you. So you're all my cucks. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We are. It's a world of cucks. Angela's world of cucks. Love it. Love it. <laughs> so you just got back from Japan. Literally yesterday. Just got back. Had the best time. Did a collab with Hitomi, of all people. I don't know if you know Hitomi, but you know Hitomi huge boobs huge natural boobs like, I think I think I might know who she yeah. is I mean go on my Twitter you'll I mean I know my only fan soon so yeah very excited. what was your favorite thing about Japan besides obviously this woman's amazing boobs I love Japan the food is incredible the best food I've ever had seriously I, I want to move there just for the food um, the culture it's such a cool place because it's like this interesting combination of tradition but also very futuristic like, it's very, very cool. I love Japan. All right, Angela. Well, I'm going to let you go mingle. I know there are many, many cucks out there who want to uh, spend some time with you. <laughs> it's not just cuck, cucks, 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 cucks. I'm after all of it. Cucks, cucks, pussies. There's so many people here tonight. I'm sure I'm going to have a great night. That's what we love about you, Angela. You do not discriminate. No, no. Everyone come at me, please. Please. All right, I have here a trifecta of gorgeousness. I have Anna Claire Clouds, I have Anna Bardo, and I have Alexis Tay here. Um, I guess let's start on my right. Alexis, how are you doing tonight? I am pretty good. I'm really excited to see everybody and have a good night out. And Vanna, how about you? I'm doing great. Good to see everyone. We're doing the thing. <laughs> and then Anna, you and I just spent some time together on a episode that did very, very well. How are you? So 
excited to be here. It's my first ZZ social, so I'm really excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. Any excuse to see all my friends dressed up and hot, you know, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I can't beat it. Okay, so since we are at the Browsers Spring Social, tell me what's your favorite thing about shooting for Browsers? Oh my god, being able to be silly and fun and goofy and just making it as like campy and porny as humanly possible and no no like the top that you do, you can do more and they're still gonna love it. So can you give me like your best browser's face? Oh my god, not my best bra <gasps> Oh, oh no, not your best browser's face. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best, but I've had some practice. <laughs> it's gotten better. <laughs> uh Vanna, how about you? What's maybe like your favorite browser scene that you've ever shot? Oh my favorite browser scene I'd have to be my first browser scene I shot with Kieran Lee where I was hiding in like the cupboards in the kitchen and yeah I just had to pull the classic browser space when I got caught by my stepsister can I can I see it yeah absolutely <laughs> I love it and hiding in a cabinet wow what a what a browser thing to do if, it, if you fit, you sit. <laughs> <laughs> and then Anna, what about you? What uh, what have you been? What have you done for browsers? Anything particular that you think people should check out? My favorite browser scene definitely has to be the one where I basically squirt the entire time, and it's in a bathroom, so luckily I didn't feel too bad. But at one point, I was on the floor, and I came up, and I was dripping in my own squirt, just all down my hair, the whole thing. It was great. I loved it. <laughs> when you come out of those scenes, like, totally destroyed, that's like, when you just feel such a sense of accomplishment. It's a different type of cardio. It's a, such a different type of cardio, for sure. <laughs> you must have had to drink so much water after that. So much. And before. Like, a lot before and after, actually. <laughs> All right, girls, we'll have an amazing time. So good to see you all. And um, yeah, I'll see you later. All right, everybody, I am here with the gorgeous Jennifer White, who just did my podcast and like really opened up about um, her life, I think, in a way that she probably hasn't before. So Jennifer, how was that? Like now that the episode's over, it's come out. How are you feeling about it? Um, like I was just saying, like she's awoken just somebody in me that I didn't even know existed. I, I didn't realize I was holding so much in for so long. And just after being able to speak and tell my story, it's like, it feels so good. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Like, I left you a DM by the way. You'll read it later in, on Instagram. Okay, I will check it out. I'm so happy to hear that because, yeah, I mean, I, I know that, like, what you talked about was hard and it was really brave of you to come on, so I'm glad that you don't regret it. I don't at all. I, I've been waiting so long for it, to be honest, and, yeah, you made it happen for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, not at all. You made it happen for you. You man Everything that's happening in your life right now, you manifest it for yourself. Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so beyond happy. It's crazy. God, that really touches me. I'm so, I'm thrilled to hear that. Yeah. Well, you're such an inspiration. Like, I don't think you know that, how much you are to the industry and to me personally. Like, yeah. Wow. Don't make me cry. It took really <laughs> long to get my makeup done. I'm sorry, you look so gorgeous. <laughs> no, but really, you're such a wonderful person and you're doing so much good for this industry and I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Well, I hope you have an amazing time, and um, I'll catch up with you later, and you can tell me more wonderful things about myself. Awesome. I will do that. <laughs> Thank you so much. The beautiful Jessie Lee. You may have seen her on my podcast before. So, Jessie, how are you doing? I'm good. What's really funny is my the last time I talked to you on your podcast, we talked about my car accident. And then three months ago, I got another car accident. So, so that's fun. That's life. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, I like. I could not believe that when I saw it. Can you tell us a little bit, like, about what happened? So I was literally moving to Vegas. I had already packed up my truck, and Will Pounder, he was like driving the truck for me to Vegas, and I was gonna follow him in my car. And I needed a lock because I was gonna have it overnight in my Vegas apartment. And uh, he, uh, I went to go get a lock. At the, at the Walgreens, it was like four blocks from my apartment, two blocks from my apartment, I was stopped at a red light, and some fucking car decided to go really fast through a light and didn't see that the light in front of me was red. There's a Tesla in front of me, thank God that was there, because I would have went into fucking traffic, you know? Yeah, and like the guy like, 
It sucks because the guy didn't have insurance. The woman, the girl, his girlfriend's car was his girlfriend's. She doesn't have insurance, so it's like. So now I'm gonna be like this for until I can raise money to like make it better. But yeah, I like a car hit me. I fucking broke my jaw. Like the airbag sliced my face open. I'm trying to see it. And wow. it broke my jaw in three spots. And I was in a hospital for a week, and I've been like trying to recover and have this get used to this awesome lisp. <laughs> Uh, Jesse, I'm so sorry, and like, uh, I don't even know what to say. Like, this is just awful. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I work at the Punk Rock Museum in Vegas now, and I talk to people all day, and it's actually helping with my recovery. So yeah, so I'm just like, I'm just happy that everyone's so accepting, and everyone's like there to support me, and yeah, I'm just, I mean, it, it is what it is. It's fucking life. So. Is there anywhere that people can go to like donate to help, like help you out? Like, what can people do? to like to help you yeah i mean i have a gofundme right now um on my twitter and it's literally the first thing you need to do is like raise money to fix my teeth because my teeth they're shattered they're shattered and a bunch of them are loose from like my my jaw was worked out for six and a half weeks it was and like i can't even open my mouth all the way so like are you doing are when are you gonna do part again i was like well when i can open my jaw like i can open it that much it's crazy so you know yeah, my Twitter has, my Twitter, OMG is Jesse Lee, has my GoFundMe link, so, yeah. All right, yeah, go to her, go to her Twitter, that's OMG at Jesse Lee, and there'll be a link to her GoFundMe, and let's get this girl, like, let's get this girl back on track. I want to look normal again. I want to eat sandwiches again. You want to be able to get blowjobs again. I know, oh my God, you have no idea, like, I've been, like, I've been miserable because I haven't been able to get blowjobs in, like, months. It's, it's torture. Okay, we're gonna get you there. We're gonna get you there. Get get Jesse to be able to get blowjobs again. Yes. <laughs> All right, Jesse. Well, I hope you have an amazing time tonight, and it's so good to see you. And I'm I'm glad that you're like okay. okay. All right, here I have the gorgeous Jules Blue. Jules, how are you tonight? I am so wonderful. It's so good to be here with all my Brazzers family. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about like your journey with Brazzers. Maybe some of your favorite scenes that you've shot for Brazzers. Oh my. I think my favorite scene that I shot with Brazzers, one of them has to be my first scene I ever did for them back in 2019. It was my um, co-star was Small Hands and they made this really like beautiful setup for me and just like the way they styled me was so amazing. Amazing. And then, you know, I'm not just saying this, but as well, I mean, does Twisties count as Brazzers? No. I mean, Twisties counts. It's like, it's, it's all under, mine. It's under the same thing. And then my Twisties tree, obviously. Who shot that? You guys. Yeah, also, also the guy behind the camera. <laughs> just, I don't know. I feel like what I love about Brazzers and everything they do, I feel like they really, like, try to make scenes that kind of, like, fit the performer's, like, persona and aesthetic and just, like, tailor it to them. So it feels like it's very campy, but it just feels, like, true to, like, your nature as well. Yeah, they're a really fun company to work for. I love you guys. <laughs> All right, Jules, well, you look amazing. So good to see you. All right, guys, I am here with the gorgeous Adria Ray. How are you? I am lovely. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So you've been like shooting mostly for yourself for a while, but are you shooting back for brands again? I am. I'm coming back and I'm hoping to make a run with like all the companies this coming year in 2024. So I'm hoping for like a bigger resurgence than what I've done before. I've kind of like stepped my toes back in and like came back out and then came back in. But this time I think I'm really going to like go for completing everything I haven't done yet. What made you decide to come back and start shooting again? I feel like I'm really confident in my body right now. Like I feel like really sexy and there's some things that I haven't checked off my bucket list and so I'm really motivated to like get those done before I like want to leave porn. If I ever do. <laughs> Can you tell us what those bucket list items may be or is that a secret? So one of them is a gangbang. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Which I've been dying to do. I think since our interview that we did together, like our podcast that we did, I think I was talking about it on then, like when I had blonde hair. 
<laughs> so it's been something I've been really, really wanting to do. So I'm hoping I can get it checked off. Do you have like a list of like talent that you'd like to be in that scene? I have no idea. Cause like the male talents are like changing a lot these days. So it's kind of hard to like get a solid group together, but I'm hoping whatever company that I work with can help give me some suggestions, maybe on people that they've used or things like that. Cause I'm really easy to work with like anybody. So. Do you have like a number of guys? Cause sometimes like people will say like, three's not a gangbang. It's gotta be like at least four or five. Like what, do you have a number in your head? I would like to do five or six. If I could get like more than that, that would be awesome. But we all know how like that goes, getting that many guys to show, <laughs> show up to set. So as many guys as I can get, that's like my goal. Well, I'm gonna manifest for you a gangbang in 2023. I'm gonna light a candle and say a prayer. <laughs>